Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, sorry for this weird suntan that I have on right now. If this video comes up, like, it's a miracle. Um, I will be showing you guys a couple of clips of what's been going on here in Puerto Rico. Um, I won't be able to upload as often until everything is normal, but if you've seen the news and uh, even those who live in Puerto Rico know what we're going through, but we just went through Hurricane Maria and uh, it was very devastating. A lot of people just lost their homes. Um, thank God we didn't lose our home, but um, we don't have a fence. Uh, a lot of destruction around the house, but definitely God... Um, kept us safe. I live next to like a hill. A lot of trees are around my house. That's the point. There's a lot of trees and it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. My house is in cement so that's a good thing and uh, I was really scared for my apartment though because it does flood in here but there wasn't that much damage. Um, just a lot of uh, fellow bloggers from Puerto Rico on the other hand have been going through some really tough times and uh, it's been a very bittersweet uh, experience. That sound that you're hearing right now, um, that's to keep our electricity on. Like each person has one, some don't. So uh, whoever has one is very lucky. Um, by the way, the lighting is perfect today. Um, but we're trying to look at it in a positive way. In a way, we've been so stuck with uh, technology and just a lot of things that shouldn't matter so much that uh, I think we needed to get away from that for a little bit though we do miss water and we do have to like struggle to get some water or gas or ice that's like the daily routine now um, so there's like massive lines there's little resources there's supposed to be enough but everything's being controlled so it's very frustrating us as us vloggers like from here I can't imagine the frustration because we can't stay connected with you guys as much so when we can we try our best to but um, obviously we're super grateful because you know we're alive and all of that but it's just really sad really frustrating because you have to like readjust like your future and everything because you don't know what's gonna happen next so it's been crazy um, that night was very scary um, everybody was anxious about the whole situation and it's just I can't imagine people who lost their homes and just getting to see their homes destroyed with nothing left it's just so sad um, my mom and I we donated some clothes to a refuge that they have right next to like close to our street so um, if you're here from Puerto Rico and you know you know you haven't lost it all and you have stuff that you're not using please donate because people don't have anything like like they would just take anything and um it was very sad you know they're not in their homes they're with different people in one refuge and that's just crazy so um I'm gonna be doing this vlog just to show you guys what's been going on just to keep you a little bit updated I'm gonna try my best to upload this video obviously if you're seeing it it means I got to do it so um, I just wanted to share with you guys the experience and later we can talk about what's gonna to happen to beautify with love because we don't know yet so hopefully we can stay in touch but I just need to keep you guys updated on what's going on and why I'm a little off um, you know because we have to try to keep this connection because I love you guys and the channel means a lot to me obviously in a way like I said I think this is something that we need um, as human beings I've seen that um, there's a lot of solidarity there's a lot of bad things happening but I've seen people help each other and um, when we're making those lines and oh you're are you okay like um, do you need help like that that touches us you know and we help each other you know there's a lot of people of old age and children and that's just heartbreaking seeing them make those lines in heat and for hours they're like I'm talking about 10 hour lines and it's crazy just to get two two 
ice packs and that's crazy and with gasoline some gasolines like you can only get ten dollars of gasoline and for me that's fine because my car is very economic but some people have massive cars the government a lot of people who work in the government they have to work so they need a lot of gas so making that line all the time must be so frustrating and I can't I haven't worked for two weeks so I'm almost on my breaking point because my last check is gonna be this week so it's like and I don't even know if it's coming in because they're also controlling how much money you can take out so it's crazy so um, just I think sharing this with you guys maybe um, wherever you are it can touch you in a way um, to appreciate what you have right now and uh, you know it's it's beautiful with love so um, we're staying true um, it's not always gonna be rainbows and butterflies and unicorns um, there's also struggle in life and it's not always makeup sometimes it's life and I want to share that with you guys so who knows maybe we can make a section for that so I think I'm like <laughs> coming up with all these ideas because I'm not doing anything with my life right now just you know that routine with gas and all that yeah I'm not even gonna get into that again but um, I'm taking it positive as much as I can so thank you so so much uh, gonna be showing you guys some clips and all of that of my little experience with this hurricane and what's going on and once again I love you guys so much don't forget to beautify with love let's head on out This is my street. Gracias a Dios. My cars are, our cars are fine, but this is what happened. And that's the curtain. We don't have a curtain anymore. And everything's fine over there. So, yeah. And this was incredible. This was a freaking huge palm tree. And I don't know, this was God. It didn't even touch the car by nothing. Like, it's crazy. Oh my God.